Carol Drummond, cool Cleveland correspondent, and I'm here with Valerie Mayen. And we're going to find out what her impression, our final impression at Project One Way is, and what's more important, stay tuned here because she'll tell us about her plans for the future and how you can get involved in how it's going to benefit Cleveland. So, hey, Valerie. Hi. Hi. Hello. Thanks for taking time. Oh, no problem. I, great. I really appreciate it. So, give me some final impressions. Now, first of all, Gretchen and not Mondo, give me a break. Go yeah. ahead. Man, Gretchen and not Mondo. I know it was it was a big shock to us too. Actually, we found out. Um, in September when we had Fashion Week, because I was there, Top Ten got to show. Okay. And so, yeah, we were all shocked. You know, I, I cried a little bit. Um, I was always pulling for Mondo. Uh -huh. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, Gretchen's uh, a designer in her own right, just like all of us. So, you know, you love to hate her, hate to love her, but um, <laughs> she's, she's a good designer. And, I mean, if the judges saw fit to pick her, that's it's their decision, so I, I wish her all the best. Great. Really do, and I think she's going to do, do great things. Great. So the so being on the show for you was a good thing. What now? What's the what's going on with you because of being on the show? Yeah. Oh man, being on the show for me was a great experience. I mean, it was as hard as it was. It was also equally rewarding. So um, yeah, for me, uh, you know, my inbox has um, is always full. Mm -hmm. um, my cell phone is always ringing. Great. And um, it's just been good. You know, I've got lots of. Uh, appointments and clients and new opportunities on the horizon. I'm able to meet with other people throughout the city and I, I, I think I've kind of fallen into this role of being a, a Cleveland spokesperson which yeah. I'm, really, I'm really happy to fulfill it because I really love the city. Mm -hmm. I love what the city's becoming, I love what the city's about, I love the people. So um, yeah, uh, as far as what's happening now, I mean yeah. Yellow, Cake, Yellow Cake has definitely been doing really well. We've got lots of um, new clients, lots of new inquiries. Uh, interns, we've got about 65 plus students. Wow, for, for okay, so great. That's kind of what's um, been the, uh, the whole reason for starting Buzz and Browse. We want to accommodate all the interns, we want to accommodate the growth of Yellow King. So, um, why not kind of, you know, kill two birds with one stone? Create a space um, for them to grow. Yeah. So, tell me more about Buzz and Growl. What's that all about? Buzz okay. and Growl. Well, um, we chose Buzz and Growl as the name because, you know, uh, when you start, when you use industrial machines like, like this one, when you first start it up, they, um, they, when they're warming up, they make a buzzing sound. And then when you start sewing on them, you know, they're a little more intensified and they kind of growl a bit. So, um, so yeah, uh, we wanted to kind of make it a metaphor for what we want to help your designers do. We want to help your designers grow from a buzz to a growl. And, um, yeah, it just kind of stuck. And, I always tell people that Buzz and Growl is going to be somewhat like a gym for sewers. Okay. You, know, you can pay a membership fee based on uh, what kind of availability or access you want to the space. And then um, you can come in and use professional grade equipment and tools like industrial machines, um, 20 foot cutting tables, uh, we'll have computers and scanners and printers available with all the, the programs needed. Um, we're going to have industrial strength dyeing and, and pressing stations. And then, you know, in addition to the space, we're also hoping to have workshops, lectures, seminars. Wow. So um, it's kind of a little bit like Kosi when you think about it. You know, you're a member of Kosi and if you're a member, you get discounted rates for events. So mm -hmm. something similar to that, but, okay. but for design and sewers. And uh, it'll be a great opportunity for, for people who don't have the space or the tools to actually start working more on all the things they wanted to. You know, that I think that's the space and tools are, are a big hindrance for a lot of women, a lot of people. Okay. Um, that's what stops them from doing what they want to do. They don't, they don't have the finances to buy the tools, nor do they have the space to house them. Okay. Um, and they don't have the, um, the education or the know-how of how to operate them in the best way possible. So that's what we would like to help them do. And um, they can collaborate, they can network with the designers, and the possibilities are endless for what we can do with Buzz and Growl. So okay, so how can people get involved in the Buzz and Growl? What, what, what can people uh, do? Well, if you want to get involved with the Buzz and Growl movement and what we're doing, uh, they can go to buzzandgrowl.com, mm -hmm. and we have several links there about what we're about, how they can get involved. So that's um, B-U-Z-Z-A-N-D-G-R-O-W-L. Yep. W-L, yeah, okay, buzz great. Buzz like a bee, growl like a bear, okay. and that's uh, just buzzandgrowl.com. And if you want to donate, you can go to our Kickstarter page. We have about 40 days left to meet our goal of $10,000. Right now we're at 2300 So, um, you know, if, if we get a couple hundred people to give about 10 bucks each, I think we'll almost be there. So, wow, that's um, great. Yeah, okay. Go to um, buzzandgrowl.com backslash pledge. That's how people can, can donate. You can give as little as $1 or as much as 10000 Okay. For every level of donating, there's an incentive. So you give 5 bucks, you get to be on the website. Mm -hmm. You give 20 you get a sketch. 
uh, you think if you give like a thousand, you get a, a dinner date with me and take you on a shopping trip. And so there's all kinds of incentives for every level of giving. Um, so definitely, you know, you're getting something for, for what you're giving. And, and then you get to help support this great cause. So, okay. um, and it's great. I think for me, the best part about Buzz and Growl is that, you know, I, I've always had a bent towards using my resources and my, my art and what I do to benefit others. Yes. Um, so I've been a major advocate of supporting the city mission and other um, local and national nonprofits. So um, hopefully with Buzz and Growl, we can kind of start, you know, inspiring and influence other young designers to do the same, you know, to use right. what they have. And, use their talent and time to, to further the quality of life for other people. And then they'll stay in Cleveland and do it. Exactly. Yep. They'll stay okay. in Cleveland and do it in Cleveland and, you know, we'll just keep building the design community here. Um, and then as Buzz and Growl grows and as Yellow Cake grows, there'll be more of a need for professional sewers. Um, we'll be able to employ the, the talents and skills of local women who've been sewing for 20 plus years who are retired or out of work or, or just looking for a new career path. So, great. Okay. yeah, I think, I think it's a win-win for everyone. Okay, great. So people can really get involved. Yeah. Yeah, great. And uh, promote Cleveland through the buzz and growl. So there you go. That's what's new with Valerie Mayen. And you can get involved yourself. Go to buzzandgrowl.com. And um, cool, this is Cool Cleveland Correspondent Carol Drummond. Have a great week in Cool Cleveland. Hi.